gym squad welcome back to another video it's your girl emma sophia hell what's up what's good what's poppin and if you are new to the channel hey sweetie what's up what's good what's poppin is you okay go ahead and click the subscribe button down below become a part of the gym squad family because we look over here or whatever and that is on her <laughs> As you can see by the title on this video, we are doing a Q and A with M. I did do an Instagram poll a few days ago. I did it twice. Um, I just asked you guys to ask me some questions, and then I would have just answered them on my YouTube channel, just to give you guys some little content, some content for the goals. I got my book here. I got. I wrote down the questions that was asked. Child. That was a lot of questions, but, but, I'm gonna do my best to answer not all of them, but most. Okay, so, yeah, child, I just got off work not too long ago, so you're a little tired, but I'm so here, giving y'all what y'all need, what y'all want, what the girls can ask for, period. Y'all, that apple juice was good. That was good. That was in the fridge trial. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what that cold apple juice? The ocean spray. Oh. oh, that hit different just now. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So, enough stopping up. Let's get into this video. Question we have here is what is the best way to ask someone on a date or what do i think is the best way now how i feel or what i think is if you're interested in somebody and they don't know that you're interested in them but y'all like cool like y'all like boys like you know i feel like you should just take them out on a friendly date nothing's wrong with a friendly date you just gotta learn to keep it you know friendly but like i guess like give you a little you know hey i you know like little little hints or whatever but if you're all too interested if y'all both are interested in each other and you guys both know that you're interested in each other and it's like y'all on a talking level like y'all already discussing the fact that hey i like you i know you like me type thing just drop a little you busy on Friday and they're like no all right so seven o'clock put this on or wear this color I'm gonna come pick you up we gonna go out or not even we gonna go out I'm gonna pick you up all right that's that mic drop I feel like that is a phenomenal way to ask someone out I'm just saying. And that goes both ways, ladies or men. I'm just saying. The what's the, what's the what's it say? The proof is in the pudding. It works. Next question. What is something you've always wanted to do, but never done? When I tell y'all I always wanted to go parasailing, me, I live in the Bahamas. Not even in the Bahamas. Y'all, I moved to Exuma. I live in Exuma. I, you know, I haven't seen any more parasailing over here. I need to ask about that. I need to ask about that. But I want to go parasailing, y'all. I scared of heights, though. That's why I never do it. Oh, my sister's scared of heights. I can't tell her. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm petrified. But maybe one day I'll do it. Maybe, maybe one day. Hmm. The next question is dreams and aspirations. Now, child, I have a lot of dreams and a lot of aspirations. But currently, I'm working on me. 
so I aspire to be a better woman than I was yesterday that's my only aspirations at this moment and to build myself and my brand as Emerald Sapphire currently that's that's my dreams and aspirations for this present moment in time as we're working on but I am working on some things behind the scene and I wish not to speak on them just yet but if you know you know the question is current dream vacay spot now my current dream vacay spot would have to be dubai dubai why Ooh, excuse me why dubai because i want to experience that the sand the camel rides the luxury like like how it looks it, it just it speaks to me on a level I just I wanna I wanna experience it I want to experience that I know what it is to experience snow so I wouldn't say I want to go to like Canada or anything but I want to experience that lifestyle like the whole head wrap and everything like I'm not trying to make fun of culture be culturally racist or I want to experience that for myself just away from the water them I don't see ocean all my life take me somewhere else definitely Dubai is my dream vacation spot next question is my current goals so this person this basically piggies back to um, my dreams and aspiration but I'm currently working on some stuff behind the scenes soon relaunch my brand my cosmetics brand if you don't know hi my name is Emerald I have a cosmetics brand in the works excuse me now i'll be dropping like a logo and all that stuff like give you guys a whole you know she's here arrival type relaunch thing i'm in the process of working on all of this like i've been working for the past couple months on this so i can't come half step in this time all right and i just trying to make sure i get things like sorted out but y'all when i tell y'all oh baby my mama whoo ah okay. other than that my next goal is a car i'm trying to get a car a car yes a car I, i'm trying to get a car so my next goal is to get a car goal would be to get a car I'm trying to get a car before the year is out I'm already saving up towards it I already got a certain amount of funds towards it I just gotta get it it that's all period yeah um, other than that my next goal would be to finish all these books that I buy because I got the relationship goals book by Michael Todd I need to finish that and I order in another book like I just I try to you know and then I also started back doing Forex so my next goal is to be you know not Forex funded but using my live account on Forex again before the year is out so yeah these like little goals but they major to me I ain't gonna tell y'all no lie <laughs> biggest pet peeve oh my gosh so let me let y'all know now I don't know if it's like a problem or what and I know it's something you can't really control but to hear people chew 
Ugh. That does do something to me. Like, okay, it's not like chewing like you eating that. Like the sound you make, right? But it's like when you eat it and you smacking. I can't even say that's my biggest pet peeve, but honestly, I want y'all to know that it's do something for me. Now, if you just cut a piece of something in your mouth, you do the little one. Right? But not. I just want. That is do something to me, y'all. That is cruel on my whole existence. Anyway, what is my favorite cosmetics brand or product? Let's do product because I don't have a favorite brand. Let's do product. So my favorite cosmetics product would have to go between lashes and lip gloss. Ooh. Between gloss and lashes. But I think more gloss than lashes. Cause I could not wear lashes and just wear gloss, but I could also wear glasses and no gloss. No, I think it's definitely lip gloss. Next question is, if it was my last day, how would I want it to be spent? Like my last day on earth. If today was my last day on earth, I would want to have spent it with my loved ones, eating fries from Kentucky, the one in Freeport, not the one on Coal Road. The one downtown, um, extra seasoning on the fries with some shrimp, <laughs> like a whole seafood boil, a big jug, the, the four liter Carlo, my Bible, some gospel music. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that, I think. <laughs> I think that's what, how I would want to spend my last day if I had like control over my last day. One nice, you know, one nice, yeah, yeah, do it. The next question is when am I going back to free board? Honestly, I can't tell you. The next question is one weird food combo that I like. I don't know if y'all ever see this, but I was on TikTok one day and I seen this girl, y'all know I like pickles, but I seen this girl put some mustard on pickles and she eat it and I was just like, it's just you weird. But I don't like mustard like that. But sweetie, when I tell you I put that on the pickle one day and I eat. That mustard and pickle, pickle and mustard. You take the pickle, put the mustard on every pan. That slap, that tastes good. That tastes good. I get what nobody say it tastes good. Y'all should try it. It tastes, it tastes good for you. Next question is, what advice would I give to high schoolers? Baby, baby girl, baby boy. Take it from me. I graduated in 2017. I already went to college, been in college for two years, had to drop out. Yeah, okay, well, but let me tell you something. You, grade 10, 11, 12, grade 9, 10, 11, 12, however you want to put it, focus. Mind your friends. Mind your friends. I understand, you want to have fun, you want to do this, you want to do that, but baby, let me tell you something. At the end of the day, get your BJCs for those who are in the Bahamas, your BJCs, your BGCSEs, get them in and out. Grade 10, 11, they your focus. Get them in and out. Complete them. Because you know their requirements for school or whatever, for college, to get into college and stuff. In and out. And if you have to take some grade 12, do that as well. Do what you gotta do. Make sure all your BJCs done. Pass. If you need to take some again, take them again. Do what you gotta do to get your grades up. Don't go to school loafing. Don't waste your time. Don't waste the teacher them time. Nah, listen. I ain't telling you can't have fun while you're in school. Cause you could. 
But when it's time to work, do you work? Stay laid up. Because it can pay you off in the long run. So when I tell you scholarships is a thing, and Baba Day is help, there is help, Baba. Make sure you do your work, yeah? Get your grades. Laugh up, smile up, key you, do what you need to do. Mind you, you don't have to go to college to be successful, and you don't have to go to school to be a owner of a business. You don't. You really don't. This child really pissed me off right here. But you don't. You don't need a degree or diploma to be a boss. You don't need it. However, in this day and age, it's really nice to have some papers and some certificates behind your name. Don't slap up when you should be serious. All right? All right. Favorite song currently, now. Y'all don't know. I like to sing or whatever. I like to sing or whatever. But my favorite song currently is Essence. This is by Wiz Kelly. Wiz Kelly. Wiz. What do you mean? Not me, but Wiz Kelly. <laughs> my favorite song at the moment is Essence by Wizkid and Temps. I'll belt that out to the top of my lungs for every time I hear it. I so love this song, child. You don't need no other body. That's my song. Favorite item and why? Good question, friend. My favorite item would have to be my Bible. The word of God. It remains the same. No, honestly, though. Um, but my Bible, because happy times, you have scriptures in there you can back up. Sad times, you have scriptures in there you can back up. Angry times, you have scriptures in there you can back up. Hurt, right in there. Guidance, right in there. You feel me? So a lot of things you can get out of the Bible, honestly. Like, you know, ifs, ands, or buts about it. Next question is, are you in school and working at the same time? No, I'm not in school, but yes, I am working. Well, technically, technically, I wouldn't even call it in school. But like I said, I am getting back into the Forex field, the foreign exchange market. So I am learning or re-educating myself on the market itself. So I wouldn't really call it school. No, but if you are in school and are working at the same time, I just... My advice is time management. Just time management and ensure that you look out and take care of yourself because you are your only you. You understand? So if you're in school and you have a job, I mean, yeah, if you're in school and you have a job, do what you have to do to make your grades, but at the same time, make sure you take care of yourself. Don't overwork yourself, but make sure you put your best foot forward. But don't stress yourself out to the point where you could get sick but don't be lazy. You understand what I'm saying? Like this thing goes with sense. If you're doing it, if you're working to make extra coin because you need it, do that. If you're in school and you know that you're in school to get a better degree, do that. If you're doing both to better yourself further in the future, do that. But do what you must do until you can do better. You understand? The next question is, do you still model? And if so, what's the next move? Alrighty, so at this present time, it's been a while since a good sis has been behind a camera. The last time I took a picture was for my birthday. And in that instant, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's at emerald dash dash. I'm going to put it on the screen someplace so y'all can see it and y'all can follow me. I, I haven't modeled in a while. I haven't modeled in a while. And I think it's because I've been working. And because where I'm working... I really don't have, I wouldn't say I don't have the time to do it because I do have the time to do it. And yes, I can make time to do it. It's just I need to find the right persons to go about doing it with and the right resources and stuff. And then I'll get back on my feet. But I have been looking. I have found a photographer. It's just a matter of when and what I'm shooting in and all that stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. The next question is my top favorite three artists. So, my top fave artists are going to have to be... Straight out the bat, are we doing, let's do categories. So for gospel music, I'm definitely going to lean towards Maverick. Is it Ma Maverick? Maverick City. I'm going to lean towards Maverick City for gospel. 
or like R&B those kind of music I'm gonna ninja watch Janae and Janae Aiko and then for like dance hall and like all that all that I'm going to watch him to you top three right there right there now mind you I do have my sticking my sound mind you I do have like other people I listen to and everything but like those I just like those two for some reason like yeah so my most listened to would be from those three groups of artists or whatever. Dream job. My dream job is to be the best mother ever. <laughs> no, I'm not pregnant on nothing, y'all. But um, I think my dream job would not even dream job. But I I want to become a mother. Obviously, I I want to be my own boss. I want to run my own businesses. But the top job would be to be an A1 mom the best mom and wife CEO that that's my dream job right there I guess I don't know if it makes sense but yeah oh my gosh the next question is why is Travia if you don't know who Travia is she's my best friend why is Travia so beautiful look girl hi how are you I miss you too that's all you have to say jeez Hi, Trivia. I don't know, baby. Ask God. I don't know. Ask God. Ask God. Ask me these things like I suppose to know. I don't know. I... Baby, you are beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful mother. Love you. Last question we have here, guys, is how do you handle frustration? Now. Now. Listen to me. Me, for one, I'm an overthinker. For two, I wouldn't say I get frustrated easy, but when I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated for a while. I had to yawn. Sorry, but um, when I'm frustrated, I be frustrated. Like, but I try to not let me being an overthinker increase the level of frustration because once you say something to me and i feel kind of off about it i'm gonna think about everything in the book i'm sorry and if it's something sad enough to frustrate me trust me i'm gonna think about every other thing in the book plus the things in the book so but how do i handle it is i try to curtail how much i think about it and sometimes I be overthinking and I just say, I'm going leave it alone. Just stop thinking about it. Leave it alone. Or like, I, you know those arguments you have in your head? Like, I have those arguments as well. I don't know, babe. <laughs> or I just let the person know how I feel. Or I just honestly, like, just cry it out, to be honest, sometimes. Because sometimes you can't resolve matters and it's things that you you can't fix on your own so you just have to leave it alone so sometimes i just cry it out i'm i being honest like i ain't gonna lie what is there to lie for i don't know to lie about thank you so much gems girl for watching this video if you did enjoy please click the subscribe button down below don't forget to like comment and share the video and if you want to see another q a with m please do comment that down below Q and A with M part two or PT two, and we'll have that okay. And then we could also do a little poll on the ground and have that, you know. But ask me some more questions. Like, ask me some questions so I could answer them. Like, they don't have to be, you know. We could answer some questions. Like some questions, questions. I mean, nah, y'all don't don't run out with these questions now. Nah. Don't run out with them. But we could answer some questions. Just give me the questions, like you know. But yes, yes, yes. Love you so much, Gem Squad. Ah! Please be safe out here. Wear your mask. Sanitize these stuff. Yes, I know people got vaccinated and all that, but COVID still is around, so you want to still take your precautions and everything. Please. Thank you. Um, but yeah. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. I love you so much.